Alright guys, what is going on? We're back with another episode in our top 5 batting stances. This month is batting stances you should try for the month of May. Um, we're doing something different. We're going backwards. We're going from 1 to 5 this episode. And so, let's go ahead and give a little background knowledge on if this is your first time watching this series. Is Each month, I put out a video on the top 5 batting stances you, you guys suggested to me that I should try. And the ones that I put in here that you guys should try. So, if you have something you want other people to try, leave it down in the comment section. And it might be featured in the next episode. We had a lot of suggestions this week, or this month I mean. And so, we're going to go ahead and jump right into it with number 1. And it's weird. I didn't think to even ever try this batting stance until now. So yeah, Mikey Matuk. Sorry if I got his name wrong. Uh, it's really weird. I was just scrolling through batting stances with my Road to the Show character and came across this batting stance, which I normally would never have tried, but you know, just decided to. And it's very plain. I mean, all he really does is just stand up straight and keep his elbows high. So, uh, it works, actually. Only that's all I can say about it. I, didn't even, I haven't even edited it or tried to edit it yet. So, that is why it is number one in this countdown. Number two, his Ozzy Albies. He is killing it right now in the major leagues with 10 home runs as a second baseman for the Atlanta Braves. Currently, I believe, the first or second place Atlanta Braves. So that's why I wanted to try this batting stance. It is quick to the baseball, and it actually pulls off a lot of power and just overall a lot of contact. Uh, there was no doubt he'd be in this list, but I slotted him in at number two above some other good players so this was a tight very hard decision to put him in at number two but number two is Ozzy Albies Number three on this list is Ken Griffey Jr. And it was actually suggested by the man 12416. He suggested Ken Griffey Jr. He says that the stance is amazing. And I'll give it to him. It's pretty good. Uh, between this one and Ozzy Osby, Ozzy Albies, I didn't know what to put for number two or three. And this one just happened to fall to number three. But you should definitely give Ken Griffey Jr.'s batting stance a chance for the month of May. And hey. He's a legend, so I'm pretty sure most of you have already used it, but hey, yeah, it's pretty damn good. So number four on this list is uh, Barry Bonds. This one was actually kind of a can you help me find Barry Bonds' stance by Jeff Ajoy, and it is a legend stance three. I believe someone actually did say this in yeah in the comment section replying to him. Sean R said this is legend stance three. It is. It's actually pretty good, so that's why I added it into this. It was just going to be like a little cliff note in the beginning for Mr. Jeff, but I went ahead and added it into the countdown. It is in at number four because it is pretty damn good. A lot of power for Barry Bonds, and if you got a lot of power for your road to the show player. Number five was suggested by Christopher Bracco. He says, for me, Babe Ruth works really well for both contact and power. My Road of the Show player uses it, and he rakes. And I used it for about maybe 
three weeks. It was the longest one of the, out of all these batting stances that I tried. Most of them I try, see if I can hit, and go in, in depth as much as I can. This one, I just enjoyed playing with it. Mr. Christopher is right. He, it rakes. It's a really well, but just altogether great batting stance. And that's why it is in this countdown. And so that's going to do it this for this month's countdown. If you want to have your batting stance in the countdown next month, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you are new, and put it down in the comment section. I am out. Thank you guys so much for watching.